Um, so there is the flu shot, that's, that's only one side of the story, but there's also the other way you can approach this and it's strengthening the immune system and um, making sure that um, you support the child when you start to see the first signs of illness, you know, keep them home, don't send them to school and, um, and give them, you know, the extra vitamin C, lots of fluids. Um, if they start running a fever, great, fever is great. It's, um, it's a good way to get over the illness very quickly, but a lot of parents panic and the moment their child starts to run a fever, they give Tylenol, uh, which suppresses the fever and, um, and suppresses the illness and prolongs it. Fever is our own uh, way to fight disease and we shouldn't be afraid of it. Of course monitor it and um, make sure that you understand, um, educate yourself and understand that once it gets high then that's when you should worry about and especially if it's not breaking. So what we do instead is um, for adults, we offer, um, we do IV vitamins and minerals to boost the immune system. Um, or if a person chooses not to do IV, it's okay, we do oral supplementation as well. Um, and there are specific vitamins and minerals that are important for immune function. So um, we suggest those. And um, of course, um, getting lots of rest and water and uh, doing all the things that um, that you should um, just just for health maintenance is important to be in place as well. Uh, for children, um, we have different products that are actually in a liquid form, which is really nice because lots of kids can't swallow capsules um, and the liquids taste really good. So they usually line up to take them and it's a really easy way to make sure your child is staying healthy.